Let's turn attention now to agriculture. Federal government has approved 10 new varieties of genetically modified crops to improve food production and enhance sustainable agriculture in the country. The government gave the approval through the National Committee of Naming, Registration and Release of Crop Varieties, Livestock Breeds and Fisheries during its 32nd meeting held in Ibadan. Lido Yewoli reports. Experts over the years have attributed low agricultural yields in Nigeria to several key factors, including outdated farming practices, limited availability of modern agricultural technologies, and inadequate irrigation systems. And you, you have... To improve agricultural productivity, this group of experts are gathered here at the National Center for Genetic Resources and Biotechnology to give a nod to some recommended crops for agricultural production. The 10 newly approved crops by the naming committee include four varieties of wheat, four potato varieties, and two synthetic maize varieties. We had reached six tons per hectare. Now we have hit seven tons per hectare. And once you want to improve production, you have to rely on two things, the landmass expansion and higher yielding varieties. And that's what we are offering to farmers at this stage. State governments, the local governments, and the federal government of Nigeria to come to our aid. Let us work together to see that our technologies are widespread. The farmers are given the appropriate inputs uh, to make our objective of being self-sufficient in wheat production in the country the wheat varieties were submitted by the Lake Chad Research Institute in collaboration with Floor Milling Association of Nigeria. Stakeholders say it will help address the importation of wheat, which largely accounts for high cost of bread and pasta. This will in turn save Nigeria the billions of naira spent on import of wheat into the country by boosting local production. The Flour Milling Association of Nigeria, FMAN, is working along the wheat value chain for several years to improve local wheat production. So generally, including maize too, all these are going to help the overall development of agriculture in Nigeria and as well as food and nutrition security in the country. Thank you. The approval followed an earlier submission by the Technical Subcommittee of the National Committee on Naming, Registration and Release of Crop Varieties, Livestock Breeds and Fisheries at its 36th meeting. Oladio Yewale, TVC News, Ibadan.